the pear tree. Interior, kitchen, evening. Dong Sheng cooks on the stove. My Ning, Dong Sheng's wife, chops vegetables at the counter. She looks out of the window. Look, they built a new fence. Dong Sheng moves over to look out of the window. A new wooden lattice fence stands high between their backyard and the new neighbors. When did they build it? It wasn't there only the other day. Probably over the weekend. Looks really good. Yeah. Um, kind of sad, though. Oh, really? Yeah, it was nice to see the plants in their backyard, like when Lorraine lived here. Can't see that anymore. I know, but they're redesigning the whole yard. Suddenly, my Ning looks alerted. Something happened to our tree? What? Look at the tree, the, the pear tree. Exterior, backyard, evening. Dong Shang and my Ning walk to the pear tree. Stunned, my Ning covers her mouth with hands. Dong Shang stares at the tree in silence. Half of the tree is cut off. Large and small cut off branches lie around on the ground. Dong Shang takes a deep breath, moves his eyes slowly from the top of the tree to the bottom. All the main branches facing the fence are cut off from the trunk. Thick stubs of the sawed off branches are left with ragged edges and split bark. Part of the trunk below one of the stubs is torn off. They cut our pear tree like that? Dong Sheng looks at the new lattice wooden fence closely. Its panels are fastened to the old wire fence from the other side, held stable by a row of added poles from behind. I think they were building the fence. The tree got in the way or something. Meaning steps in between the tree and the fence looks up and down. There is enough space between the tree and the fence. They didn't have to cut our tree. That's what I don't understand. Maybe the top of the branches got in the way. So they cut the whole half of the tree. Were they crazy? Unbelievable. They had to come inside our yard with a chainsaw to cut all these. Dong Sheng stares in disbelief. Mining picks up a cut-off branch, looks at the broken buds and flowers. What are we going to do? I don't know. What can we do? Dong Sheng kneels down by the tree, picks up a hanging piece of bark, puts it back onto the trunk. Looking carefully, he sees swarms of tiny ants crawling all over the torn trunk. Oh, look, we have to do something to stop the bugs from eating into the trunk or getting infected by disease. Interior, kitchen, evening. Dong Sheng and Mai Ning search the cabinet. My Ning finds a bottle of first aid spray from a box. Will this work? Not sure if it works on trees. My Ning finds another bottle. How about this? Oh, this is what I'm looking for. It's the tree bug killer. We can try both of them. Exterior, backyard, evening. Dong Sheng and My Ning kneel down by the pear tree. Dong Sheng wipes off the dirt and bugs from the torn off trunk and stubs. Mining sprays layers of bug killer onto them. Dong Sheng holds the pieces of split bark back onto the trunk. Mining runs ropes around the trunk to tie them up. Poor tree. It's like a person's limbs got cut off just like that. Must be so painful if it was a person. Well, a person would have died already. Thank God. A tree is stronger than a person. They both laugh a little. I hope you're right. I'm afraid it will die. I think it'll survive. It's still very young, very strong. Interior, bedroom, midnight. My Ning turns around in bed. Dong Sheng looks at her. Still can't sleep? Why didn't they even ask us? They, they could have asked us, right? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe they were too busy. Or because we were not home? But you don't just cut your neighbor's tree when they're not home. I know. Doesn't make sense. Lorraine and her husband would never, ever do anything like this. Nobody would ever do anything like this. But I was thinking, could it be a mistake? How could it be a mistake? I don't know. Maybe somehow they didn't realize it was our tree? They are still kind of new to their yard. That's ridiculous. It's inside our yard. I know. I'm just thinking of all the possibilities, even if it's ridiculous. If it was a mistake, shouldn't they have told us and apologized? Maybe they will. Maybe they haven't had the opportunity.
opportunity to mention it 